This morning I was working on my final assessment of the term. The last few weeks have been really rather hectic with assessments. Uh, there was just one after the other and I find that it can often feel like time is passing without really passing when you have so many assessments. It doesn't really feel like November even happened, which is a shame because it's one of my favourite months. But that isn't okay. Months shouldn't be allowed to just slip away from us. You don't deserve to lose whole months. Yes, academics are important, and I think it's important to work towards our goals, but it's perhaps most important that you enjoy your academics and studies and appreciate them, and you can't do that if you're not letting yourself appreciate the world outside of academics. If you've got deadlines coming up, if you're in deadline season, please remember to keep things in perspective, I know that's easier said than done, and not to get too caught up in tiny details, because it's probably a small thing in the grand scheme of things, and you can afford to take a little step back every now and then. I am going to try day four of the Burn Blend Tea. I just bought the little boxes for four and five home with me. Um, because I'm at home for the weekend. And today's is Winter is Coming, which is a blend of fire and ice to warm the winter chill. It's Chinese puree tea, ginger peppermint, red peppercorns, chili, blue cornflowers. So it's like a spicy tea. I'm very excited to try it. Oh, and today's act of kindness is say a big thank you to bus drivers, nurses, retail workers, and anyone else you meet working today. Which is actually really perfect because I'm in London today, so I'll see lots of people. I don't know how this is going to be. It's very gingery. Oh, and it says, look, a nice little pun as well, saying it. Look, you can see little cornflowers. Okay, I've got the tea here. It might be a bit too hot. It's very, very gingery. Maybe a little too gingery. I don't know. I feel like it's a ginger tea. It's really nice and spiced, like obviously, um, when you heard the ingredients, it's obviously spiced. It feels very festive because it is so spicy. I mean, it's just really different to anything I've tried. It's, it's very peppermint tea ish It's like a spicy peppermint tea. But I wouldn't say it's my absolute favorite. Like yesterday's was peppermint hot cocoa, which is one of my favorite teas from Bird and Blend. It's so good. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna get back to studying. So at the moment I'm working on my final assessment of the term, which is a poster presentation for the essay that we're going to be writing in January. Not that far through, it's due for Monday and I'm not as far through as I'd like to be, but I know I'll be able to get it done before I leave for London late this afternoon. Let's just keep on going, crack on. Uh, it is fun, as I say, like I'm really liking it. I love things like this and it's not so stressful. Sorry, listen to Lola. It's not very stressful because it's just research and that's always my favorite bit about writing essays. And remember as well, being in deadline season doesn't necessarily have to be stressful. It usually will be, especially since we know that deadlines are supposed to be stressful, but it doesn't have to be, and sometimes just knowing that is enough to reduce stress. Remember why you are studying, that you're grateful for your access to education, and I find it becomes easier to detach yourself from the stress of deadline season. So I worked on the assessment pretty much all morning, and then in the afternoon I started getting ready because I had something on in the evening. It's so cold. I have come up this weekend because it's V's book launch, which he's very, very kindly invited me to. I'm so excited and I am going to get ready. I've never done like a, well, have I done a get ready thing before? And I'm gonna do my makeup now. I think I might even put on some eyeshadow. I'm really, really bad at makeup. I do wear it more than I used to and my opinion on makeup has changed as well i think i used to have quite a problematic um well retrospectively problematic approach to makeup i thought you know it was i thought it was anti-feminist to wear makeup i think that just came out of something i read or heard when i was about 12 um but from, since when i was about 12 i was like oh no makeup's anti-feminist um and so i didn't wear it out of principle but then my view of what feminism is 
changed. Now I would say the important thing is letting women do what they want to do. If you want to wear makeup, you can wear makeup. So whereas before I wasn't wearing makeup out of principle, I don't have any problem wearing it now, if that makes any sense. I have just had such an exciting parcel come. I wasn't expecting it to come so quickly. Um, so I placed an order from Glossier on Black Friday and it's funny that it should come right now because I was just talking about makeup. All of the makeup pretty much that I use is from Glossier. I would shoot all of this because some of it is gifts for people. First thing here is the lash slick. This is the mascara that they sell. Before this, I'd never found a mascara that I like. Um, but it's really subtle. So this next thing you got if you spent over a certain amount on their website. It's just a tiny hand mirror. It's a very blurry mirror. It's not a very good quality mirror. Oh yeah. It's because of the plastic on it. I, l I love that little slogan, you look good. This is the thing I'm most excited about. It's the thing I was most looking forward to ordering. The Mega Greens Galaxy Pack and this is a mask, a detoxifying face mask. Then I've got two of the balm.coms, the birthday balm.com and the cookie butter. I also got a lip gloss. I've never owned a lip gloss so I'm excited about this one. There is my little glossier haul. Um, anyway, I need to stop getting distracted because otherwise I'm going to miss my train which is in a half an hour. And I think on the reverse it's bizarre. Women are ex expected to wear makeup in many situations. Mm, okay, it smells like this cough. I think the bomb.coms are the best lip balms. And I think there's a tendency to think that people are being lazy if they're not wearing makeup. And it tastes very, very subtly of cookies. That's really, really good. Which is very, very wrong. It should be somebody's choice as to whether they wear makeup. Anyway, um, I got ready and then I got the train up to London. I popped into Covent Garden for a little bit before going to the book launch and it was so Christmassy and the little cycle rickshaws were playing Christmas music and everyone in the street was singing along which was just so magical. I'm not sure if you can see but there is a Christmas market and I really want to go but I'm running a bit, not running late but I do need to leave if I'm going to get there on time. Um, so it is going to lead the like, first stop the like first two pages or something just to give you a taste uh... it was just so incredible to be able to celebrate this for v, for v such an accomplishment v's only 23 empowered is kind of her memoirs but she's framed it as a means of giving a voice to people who aren't necessarily always given a voice and i think one of the amazing things about english literature i think one of the reasons that we read books is to hear those voices v is doing such incredible work in education access and empowering girls in education. I would definitely recommend following her if you don't already and um, taking a look at her book as well. Then I just got the train back and on the train I started reading V's book. I said I was gonna start reading this over Christmas but I was feeling empowered after the launch. So then we go on to Saturday and I was just working on that poster presentation a little bit more. I try to get a lot of work done in the mornings. I'm more productive in the mornings, but I also like how it frees up my day a little bit more. And if I can get my biggest, most stressful tasks done in the morning, then I won't have it to worry about in the afternoon because I know that I've already kind of got my big thing done. So I do think it's a good idea to start with your biggest task of the day. Good morning, it's currently quarter past 11 and I'm sorry for only just picking up the camera. So I studied in my pyjamas this morning. As I say, I've got this assessment in for tomorrow and it's very like kind of, it's very low pressure. It's only a poster with, it's basically an essay plan. It's 15% of our grade. Mine's pretty much done now. Uh, there's one section I just want to rework and then also write the kind of concluding statement. But other than that, I'm done. And so I'm gonna take a break from it for a while because I wanted to do some Christmassy things today whilst I'm at home. Oh, okay, you might be able to tell. I've got a Christmas tree behind me. For the first year ever, I have got my own Christmas tree. I'm gonna decorate this today. As you can see, it's still got the tag on it. Down here I've got all of my Christmas decorations and also these like candle lights. Bought them a couple of years ago and we put it on our main tree one year but then the rest of my family didn't really like them so we haven't used them since. <laughs> but I'm going to use them on my tree which is really nice because I really like them. Oh and oh I'm going to go get my tea for the day. Okay what is it? 
candy cane. I tried this one last year and I can't remember how I found it. I think it's just a peppermint tea. Sri Lankan black tea, spearmint, lime leaves, pink cornflowers, red cornflowers, stevia, natural flavouring. Oh, and the kindness um, challenge of the day is arrange to spend time with the person who makes you laugh most or even if it's on the phone. That's a really good idea. I'm gonna send a, I'm gonna send a message to a friend. Mmm, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. It doesn't really smell like candy canes though. Maybe it does. I don't think I've had enough candy canes to really be sure. It just smells very vanilla-y with a slight undertone of peppermint. Is that what candy canes smell like? Anyway, I'm gonna go try this. I know that I did a taste test of this one last year because I was doing a tea choose as my outfits. So we're gonna have another tea test and I just want, will my reaction be the same? I don't know. Am I making this so dramatic? I always make it so dramatic when I drink tea, I think. Mmm, that's really pepperminty. It doesn't smell very pepperminty, but it is, it does taste very pepperminty. I really like that. I think I'm big up with milk as well. I might add some milk. Okay, so basically, long story short, I know I said I wasn't going to work anymore on that assessment, but I just wanted to get it done because, because in the afternoon, my family and I were doing some things together and I didn't want it hanging over me. So I worked on it for about an hour and a half, submitted it, and it was completely off my shoulders. This always happens. I got distracted. I know I wasn't going to work on this anymore, but I just thought I'd get it finished. Um, so I'm about to submit it. Where is it? I think, I think it's this one. Lula! Look at you! I'm doing a video or a photo. Video, I'm vlogging. This is my mad cat lady look. I do like it, I think do it's you? quite cool. I'm not <laughs> sure. Doesn't it? <laughs> and that coat is a nice second hand boy. So mum and dad and I are going out for lunch and it's very, very, very cold, isn't it? Oh, and it started raining. Bruh. No, but it's cold outside, even if you're warm in your coat. <laughs> yeah, wait, are we sitting outside? Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. My room is looking a bit messy after that, but I moved it from here because I couldn't see my bookshelf. And I think it looks so much better in the corner there. Um, it's just, oh my gosh. Now, as I say, I've got these decorations in here. So I'm just going to put these on the tree. Then in the evening I wrote some Christmas cards to viewers. Just a quick note actually, one of my New Year's resolutions for 2022 is to write at least a card or a letter a week to a viewer and I want it to be a surprise, the letter or present comes as a surprise. And after thinking about the best way to do this, I'm going to do this through Pumpkin Productivity. So if you subscribe to our email subscription list, there will be details sent out very soon about how you can opt into this. So every week you can potentially receive a card or a present. That will go out very soon because I also want to send out Christmas cards and presents before obviously the end of December. So there'll be details about that in the description box if that's something you're interested in. 
So I'm just jumping into the video because I never ended it. Um, I'm back at university now, as you can see. I also spontaneously decided to do a giveaway at the end of this video because editing, I realize I have mentioned tea a lot and there are lots of tea recommendations. And so I wanted to give away some of my favorite teas to somebody um, from Bird and Blend. I'm gonna go to the shop and I'm going to choose my favorite teas and send those out to the winner, along with one of the Yearly Planners because why not? The Yearly Planners are still in stock as well and I will leave that link down below. It's basically a planner that I've designed. I use it every day myself. And and for the chance to win, I comment one of two things, like whichever one you'd rather comment. Um, either your favorite Christmas tradition, if you celebrate Christmas, or a ritual that you really enjoy. So something like, I love the ritual of preparing tea. Is there a ritual that you really enjoy? Something similar? Um, I'd be really interested to hear, but I will contact the giveaway winner this week and get that sent out. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a productive week.